And we're back for another episode. In this episode, we're going to be unlocking all the Aether Currents in the Peaks. And as always, hello from Mifri. Hello. So, it is highly recommended you wait until you finish the main scenario to do this, just so that you can do it all at once, rather than in little bits. Because the way it works in Stormblood, that each zone has got two sections, and you can only get to part of it initially. So, um... You can't access, the, for example, the second part of this area until level 68 plus. As you can see, the quests here are level 68, which we need 68 plus. Anyway. Okay, so we are at the town Alagana, and we're here at 23.6. Now, what you want to do, as you have current right there, you want to run up this slope. You want to run all the way to the end. You stay on this level, you don't have to go any higher. So keep going. And then this edge, you want to jump over it. And then the Aether Current is right there. So let's jump over it. Don't fall off, obviously, otherwise you have a long run back. So, once we get to the next location, we will continue. Okay, so we are here at the Pyramid at 1615. And you would have seen this as part of the main story. What you want to do, you want to jump onto one of the platforms. Now, you want to make sure you're at least the third one or higher when you jump and run around. It has to be minimum the third one. And these two, you'll be too low down. So go as high as you can. And jump at a diagonal to the banister, ideally on a mount. Like that. You see? So now we've cleared it. And it, again, like, use the fact of being higher up as an advantage before jumping on the platforms. There you go. So you will easily, like I said, but just make sure that you get at least to the third one up. And then run around to the back. Make sure you don't fall down any gaps. And there it is right there. So just do this carefully. Jump down, jump down, and that's it. There possibly is other easier ways to do this, but that's just the way I've worked it out. Anyway, once we get to the next location, we will continue. Okay, so we are now here at uh, 1226 in the peaks. You can't get to this area until you've passed the one of the level 68 main scenario quests. It'll be a while, if you're, especially if you're a new player. But once you're in this area, then feel free to get it. Come to this ramp, run up it, and it's right there in front of you. So let's get it. Okay, that's done. So once we get to the next location, we will continue. Okay, so we have come here to 2531. To get here, run this way. You have to go through this door and you circle all the way around. You can't go this way because this is a one-way route. This will allow you to go that way, but this is a wall that you can't get up from that side. Anyway, um, from here, it's simply a case of run around this corner. You can see it right there. So it's very easy to get to. There's, there's no, again, no secret to this one. So let's get it. Cool. So that is all of the Aether Currents that you find on the ground in the peaks. So you can see they're all done. Now we have four quest ones to do. So once we get to the first location for the quests, we will continue. Right, so we are here in Alagana at uh, 24-7, and we need to do the quest from Ragnfrid called Saint Sayer. As you can see there, it'll give us an A for current. Um, and one thing I recommend, check what level the quest is, and make sure you do the quest on a class which will actually benefit from the XP if you have any available. So I'm going to be doing this as a samurai just because it's the only one I have. That's 61 plus, that isn't level 70. So, once this quest is done and we get to the next location, we will continue.
Okay, so we are here in Alagiri at 14.36 and there is a quest from Brazen Brook called Out of Sight. As you can see, it gives an A for current. So once this quest is done, then and I get to the next location, we will continue. And just a little bit of advice, this is a level 68 quest. Make sure you're obviously level 68 before you do it. And if you're alone, just summon your chocobo. Always nice to have a companion with you. So anyway, once this is done, we will continue. Okay, so we've run up here to 2728 and there's a quest from ponderous potter porter sorry called a hunger for trade as you can see it gives an a for current so once this is done and we get to the last location then we will continue okay so we've made it to the very last uh, spot in the peaks at 2736 and we need to do the quest from uh, Sagar called closing up shop and we'll get the very last day for current so once the quest is done we will continue okay so we got the last quest done so let's quickly turn it in it's worth reading the quest text of the of the quest in the game because they are very interesting. It's uh, it's nice to learn more about the history of the game. Done. So we can now fly in the peaks. And as before, one thing I do when I first unlock flying is I finish unlocking the map on a class that still needs EXP. Uh, just because, might as well, you know. So I can see here, here, here to unlock the map. It might just be a quick 60,000 EXP. It's not exactly a lot, I, I know, but at least I can fly now. At least this is done. So the Peaks is now fully in flying range along with the fringes. The next zone I will be unlocking flying for is the Ruby Sea. Then probably Yantia, um, Azim Step, and then finally the Locks. Once I've done all of the Aether Current guides, then I will probably do a visual guide for the sightseeing log of um, Stormblood, because why not? So anyway, guys, that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching, and as always, goodbye from me, and goodbye from Mifri. Bye, guys.